start off the season like that will be a big bang. Spa is one of the best tracks on this planet. I think a DTM car in Spa will be absolutely amazing. I've been there for, for many races and had a lot of success as well there. Back, gets up alongside and gets up for 24 hours of Spa. Spa is one of the best race track we have in, in Europe, you know, it's a, it's a kind of old, old style track. And especially with DTM cars, I mean those cars are pretty fast nowadays and going through Rouge with DTM car is uh, something very special I would say. With a lot of elevation, it's, it's technical, high speed corners. A track that anyway already by, by itself always brings goosebumps to, to you, whatever car you're sitting in. In a DTM car I think that will be extreme, I think we will see impressive lap times with these cars because I think the track kind of brings out uh, yeah, the, the performance of these cars, you know, we will have super high end of straight speeds, we will still have very long flowing corners where we can exploit the downforce these cars create and uh, I think that will be great for the spectators unfortunately at home to see and for us to feel it behind the steering wheel. Yeah, I mean, I raced at Spa and DTM. I think it was my first year of DTM, so 2005. Disappointment for Jamie Green then with that uh, puncture, we think. Mika Hagnan to the wave. Unbelievably, of Audi flags, wins it for Mercedes Benz. And Audi has finished second and third. But as far as I know, we won't test on the Friday. That's the plan at the moment. So it's just a two day event. So I think it's a massive challenge for everyone to to get on the pace straight away.